OK, so in this video, we're going to solve a system of linear equations by using matrices. And the matrix style to use to solve these is in form of an augmented matrix matrix. So if we get the coefficients of all these values in these terms, we can make a matrix out of it. First of all, we can make a coefficient matrix and it will make a solution matrix. And then we're going to merge the two together to augment the two together into one augmented matrix. So here's how we get there. So the coefficient matrix is made of all the coefficients of all the terms inside here on the left hand side. So all the X, Y's and Z's so will appear inside here. So the X column will go here. The Y's will go in this column here. And the Z's will go in this column here. And then each row will be corresponding to each equation. So we had sent it up like that. So there we go. That's how we get that. So here we go is zero. That's because we've got zero X's. So that will explain that one there. And then here we see, for example, the top line, one, three, minus two. Second line, two, one, one. So that's how we end up in there. So zero, one, and six. So that's how they all end up in there like that. Okay. So the solution matrix, you can see zero, 20, and three. So 0, 20 and 3. So all we're going to do now is basically merge them together and then we're going to use row reduction to solve our uh, equations. So to merge them together first, this is how we get these two together. And they end up looking like this. So you've got, here you've got all your coefficients. Here you've got your solutions to what, what each equation is worth. Then a little bar in between to just keep them separate. So now we're going to find the row reduced form and the row reduced form basically involves finding the identity matrix. So the identity matrix is a one, a one and a one in the diagonals and all the other values are all zeros. So this two, this zero, this one will be zero, the three, the minus two and the one will be zero. So to get to that, we're going to use row reduction and row reduction is basically a set of simple calculations which you perform on each row to basically eliminate all these variables here into zeros. And as we do that, we'll change the value of all these solutions here, thus given as a solution. So therefore, this will be the X, this will be the Y, and this will be the Z. So if the X is here on its own, then we'll basically end up with X equals blah, blah, blah. So if this 3 and the minus 2 wasn't there, we could straight away say that X equals zero. So if you have a look at the equation at the top here, so therefore we, if you had that 3 was 0 and the minus 2 was 0, basically you'd just have basically x equals 0, which would be a straightforward answer. So that's how we want to do row reduction to solve this. So to help us on our way, I've labelled the rows. So row 1, row 2, row 3, so it's easy to know what you're trying to do as you're calculating. And I'll put a row sum check to know that we've done the right thing. So each time we do, we can add up all these values to give us our totals. So 1 plus 3 is 4, minus 2 is 2. 2 plus 1 plus 1 is 4, plus 20, 20 is 24. 1 plus 6 plus 3 is 10. OK, so now let's move on to do some row reduction. So we start off with our matrix, and I'm going to do it column by column. It's always easy to take care of one column at a time. So first of all, we're going to take care of this first column. So we see we've got a 1. On the top left, that is great. We're good. We're happy with that. So now what we need to do is get this two to be a zero. To get that two to a zero, basically we're going to subtract from this two, two times one, to get that into a zero. And then what happens here, we can take care of later. So row two. So let's just bring this up here. So this is our solution. I'll show you how we got it. So two minus two ones is zero. One minus two threes is one minus six, which gives us minus five. And then one minus two times minus two is basically one minus minus two, which gives us five. And then 20 minus two zeros is 20. And then we just do a road check on the totals here, just to make sure we're still happy with that. So basically what we've got here is minus 5 plus 5 plus 20 gives us 20. 
And if we did that on the sum row checks as well to perform this row reduction calculation on it, we get the same answer. 24 minus two twos gives us 20. So we know we've not made any mistakes there. So now we're going to look at trying to sort out column number two. So basically what we want to do here is get a one here and then these two into zeros. Well straight away we can get a one in there just by changing the position of these two matrices and these zeros will still be fine because they, they will change it. Nothing will change the left hand column. Okay so row two becomes row three and vice versa. So that's how we end up with that and I've changed the corresponding row uh, some totals there as well. So now we've just basically switched it around. So that's pretty straightforward. So now what we can do is we can concentrate now on getting rid of this 3 to become a 0 and this minus 5 also to become a 0. So row 1 is row 1 minus 3 row 2s and row 3 is row 3 plus 5 row 2s. So basically we've done sort of some sort of calculation where we affect the amount of row 2s we can to get each one into a 0. So row 1 minus 3 row 2s, so 3 minus 1 times 3, and minus 5 plus 5 times 1, that will give us a 0. So we perform that calculation now on all of the, on all of the uh, rows. So row 1 to minus 3 row 2s, so 3 minus 3 1s, that gives us our 0, and minus 2, minus three sixes, that gives us our minus 20. So that takes care of the top row. The row two, we haven't done any calculations, so that stays. And the row three is basically, we're just adding on five row twos. So zero plus you know, the zeros and zeros aren't gonna affect. The minus five plus five ones, that gives us our zero, so there's our zero. And then the five plus five sixes gives us our 35. So that's our 35, 35, and then we're going to do the sum check in a minute. So if we did the sum checks on their own without adding up the totals, we would get row 1 minus 3 row 2s. So 10, uh, sorry, row 1 is 2 minus 3 tens. So 2 minus 30 is minus 28. And the same for row 3 is 20 plus 5 tens. 20 plus 5 tens is 70. And if we just check, we've got 35 plus 35 is 70. 1 plus 0 plus minus 20 plus minus 9 is minus 28. Row 2, we didn't do any calculation, so that stays the same. So we're happy that we've not made any mistakes there. Okay, so now what we can do is we need to get a 1 in this bottom here. Well, straight away, what we can do is we can just divide it by 35, because that would give us straight away to a 1. So we divide all these values by 1. So we'll do that first. So basically we just write that as row 3 becomes 1 35th of row 3. So that takes care of that. Next stage, just bring these down to zeros now. So basically what we can do now is take each row and affect row 3 onto it. So row 2 becomes row 2 minus 6 row 3s. And row 1 becomes row 1 plus 20 row 3s. That will then eliminate all these zeros. And because these two values are zero here, when you're adding and subtracting, you're not going to affect the number of ones that we've already calculated. Okay, so let's do that. Let's see where we get there. So row two is row two minus six row threes. So six minus six ones, that gives us that into a, zero, into a zero. And row one plus 20 row threes, so that's minus 20 plus 20 times one, gives us our zero. So that's our zero there. And then with the solutions each time, let's just check those. So minus nine plus 20, because 20 times one is 20, that gives us our 11. And row two was row two minus six row threes. So three minus six ones is minus three. So there's our minus three there. And just to check using the augmented matrix uh, sum totals, Row 2 was row 2 minus 6 row 3, so 10 minus 6 twos, that gives us minus 2. And row 1 was minus 28 plus 20 times 12, 20, sorry, 20 times 2. So minus 20 plus 20 times 2 gives us plus 12. 
Okay, so now we're in row reduce form because we've got one down all the diagonals, the rest are zeros, and this basically is our identity matrix for a three by three. So now we know that the x's are all clear here, the y's are all clear here, the z's are all clear here. So we've got an x with a y zero and a z of zero. We've got an x of zero, a y of one and a z of zero, x of zero, y of zero, and a z of one. So basically this equation would basically read like this. Show you now what we are. So basically this would read like this. So x equals 11, y equals minus 3, and z equals 1. So it looks like this is our solution. So now what we're going to do is we're going to just plug these values into our original equation right from the beginning, which was this one. So if you now plug in x equals 11, y equals minus 3, and z equals 1 into one of these equations, we can just check what we've got. So let's use the first matrix. So if x is 11, so we've got 11. Let's just bring that up a bit further. So x is 11, y is minus 3, and z is 1. We can put this in here, and we get a 0. Second equation, x is 11, y is minus 3, and z is 1. We can just multiply this out, and we see we get 20. And then x equals 0 in this one, because we've got 0 x's. So 0 times 11 is 0. Minus 3, just for the y value, and 6 1's. Calculate that out, we get a 3. So we can say our solution set is x is 11, y is minus 3, and z equals 1. So we can therefore, that is our solution to our original question. Okay, so there we go. Thanks for watching. Any comments, leave below, and please remember to subscribe. Thanks very much.